This is the all new 2022 BMW i4. This model in particular is the E-Drive 40. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Samir Omar from BMW Toronto. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell icon for more informative content like this. Uh, do like the video and comment below of what you like about this video, what else you would like to see and ask your questions in the comments as well. And as time permits, I'll make those videos or answer those questions when I can. Uh, please do also remember to share the video with family and friends with similar interests. This is the pre-production model of the i4 live here at BMW Toronto. Today is October 11th, Monday. It's Thanksgiving holiday and I'm here on my day off making this video especially for you guys. Uh, we do have the car here uh, for tomorrow as well, Tuesday 12th, October 2021. And also the all new 2022 BMW iX live here in the flesh. So we have both those vehicles here for tomorrow as well. Again, for those of you who came in to see these cars in person, thank you so much for that. For those of you who couldn't uh, stop by and see these cars, this video is especially for you. Or for those of you who just uh, came to know about these two vehicles coming in, uh, this video is for you guys. So you guys can see them live here on Canadian soil. And uh, I'm gonna basically walk around this car right now, show you it up close. And then we're gonna get inside and go through some features and options and the new iDrive 8 as well. So let's walk around this car. This is the gorgeous San Remo green metallic uh, a new launch uh, with the 4 Series and nice green. A little comeback for BMW on the greens. And the gorgeous Cognac Vernasca leather on the inside. Great color combination. I believe this would look very nice with the ivory or the oyster or the beige. Uh, even mocha could go well. And of course, you could never fail with the black. This is exactly how the new 4 Series uh, Grand Coupe is gonna look like as well. This is the electric version of that vehicle here. Basically, this is a 4 Series Grand Coupe in full electric. Obviously, if you have particular questions about these cars, please write me in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer those questions for you. This one is a fully loaded version here with the BMW laser lights, has the advanced driver assistance package, has the premium package enhanced. It's got everything going for it. So if you look at the color up close, it's a gorgeous green, San Remo green metallic. The i4 badging, BMW roundel with the blue highlight, the E-Drive 40 badging. So yes, this is a rear wheel drive. There will be an M50 uh, X-Drive, which will be the all wheel drive version of this car. Again, lots of horsepower, lots of torque on these. Electric torque is unmatched, as you know. And where normally you would have your fuel cap is where the charging cap is. So just pop that open. That's where you would charge it. So you have your 220 volt and your DC fast charging as well. So you pop those open. Again, the car would come with the standard 110 
uh, wall outlet charger, which you can plug in here. Obviously, if you have a wall mounted uh, charger, the fast charger, uh, 220 wall, which will go in there as well. And DC fast charging is mostly commercial, which is a very, very fast charge. So there we go. Let's open up the vehicle so we can see it up close. I'm gonna pop open the trunk. Grand coupe style, the whole trunk lid opens up. So you see that? Lots and lots of storage. No sacrifice on storage space because this is a battery operated vehicle. The batteries are on the floor. Uh, 40, 20, 40 split, uh, rear folding seats. You have some storage underneath. Looks like here is your Harman Kardon subwoofer in there and a nice satin car cover because this car goes back to BMW Canada. Uh, so that stays in there, that goes with the car. Automatic trunk, of course, you can close it, but let's open up all the doors. A nice sleek door handles now, if you notice there along the body lines. Oops. Frameless doors on the i4 and the iX. Um, let me pop open the hood. You can, and unlike other electric cars, yes, you don't have storage in the front. It's all the electronics and where you would fill your washer fluid. So here you have it. All the electronics in there, uh, access for the technicians, I guess. Love this color combination. You welcome carpet lights that you can see on the floor. This does have the M Sport line package. So you have the M badging right here on the door sill. The new iDrive 8, which when I get inside the car, we'll go over in a bit more detail. USB-C charging, temperature controls, air vents, uh, pockets, behind the seat, map pockets, uh, center armrest that folds down with integrated cup holders, of course.
Close up the automatic trunk. It's the rear, the sunroof. Ambient lighting, lots of lighting colors to choose from. All your window controls, your memory seating, mirror controls, lock and lock, Harman Kardon sound system, trunk release, hood release, light controls, all your advanced driver assistance settings, infotainment settings on the steering wheel, All right, so there you have it, the exterior, a nice walk around of the gorgeous i4 eDrive 40 2022. We are currently taking pre-orders on these. Uh, so if you haven't ordered your car yet and you're interested in one, please do contact me. My information will be in the description box below. Again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below and click on the bell icon for more informative content like this. Plus also do share the video with family and friends with similar interests. I'll leave you with the last view of the 2022 BMW iX and i4. If you haven't watched my iX video, please uh, see my channel and watch the iX video. I have an in-depth video of the iX as well. Again, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, well, right now, actually, we're going to get inside the car and uh, we will view it a little bit more from the inside. And we are inside the all new 2022 BMW i4. This is the eDrive 40. For those of you who don't know me, again, this is Samir Omar from BMW Toronto. And we are sitting inside a pre-production model of the i4 e40 obviously the m50 would be based on this it'll be exactly the same uh, for those of you who haven't had it who haven't had a chance yet to stop by at bmw toronto and see these cars live this video is especially for you and for those of you who are wondering how it's going to look like and how to go about setting up stuff that's what we're doing inside the car today I'm doing uh, basically an options and features demonstration and how to go about setting up the new iDrive 8. Show you a little bit more about it for the first time here. Uh, so again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like the video, comment below of what you like about the video, what else you would like to see. If you have any questions, mention those. And as time permits, I'll answer those questions or I'll make videos of those uh, as time permits. Uh, please do click on the bell icon to stay informed of more informative content like this and do share the video with family and friends with similar interest. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into this. I am going through this literally my first time as well. So I am learning along with you. I'm used to BMW systems, so I should uh, be able to navigate through this pretty easy. Uh, this is the new instrument cluster that we're looking at. Apparently, you can change the views of this and we will try exploring all the buttons and go through that. All this stuff on the left side of the steering wheel is the advanced driver assistance package here. Uh, the camera inside that watches you for tension is built into the screen this time versus it's sticking out uh, until the 2001, 2022 uh, X5, X7s, and so forms, uh, this uh, and so forth that had it. Uh, these 220, 2022 with the BMW iDrive 8 or the ID8 will integrate everything and make it more of a cleaner, sleeker, modern design. So you can see this massive display uh, panned across. And we have a nice curved display again. Uh, staying with, uh, uh, with, uh, within the driver's view. 
Uh, so yeah, let's go through some features and options and let's explore through that. Um, let's go under, um, this is all again, still stays to be a touch screen. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you notice here, it's a touch screen. And if I, if I wanna customize the screen, wanna keep some important tiles that I view, that I use more often, I can obviously move them to the left or right. So all you gotta do is hold it and then move it along. So you see that just like so, I can do that. And it would transform, so it's right here. All right, let's go under uh, under home, uh, which is this screen right here. Uh, media uh, stays to be your Sirius XM, Pandora, TikTok radio, well, that's pretty cool. Um, you have your favorites, uh, browse categories. Uh, let's see, different audio sources. Uh, Spotify, Sirius XM, FM radio. Um, I believe I saw something else here. Okay, let's go under telephone. Uh, sorry. Let's go under telephone. And this is where we would pair your phone and navigate to our Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Continue to be standard in the car, uh, keeping it a wireless connection. <coughs> uh, let's go into nav. Uh, your navigation, humongous screen right here. Apparently, uh, the new ID8 supports uh, Android Auto or let's say Apple CarPlay. If you're using Google Maps or Apple Maps, you can display those maps right here in your gauge cluster so apparently when you go to the map setting you can display that here but look at how massive that maps are all right and obviously i can touch it too and same thing like previous zoom in zoom out change the settings right here uh let's go under menu and menu is now more app-based since that, that's what we're used to nowadays with our smartphones. So let's go through it one by one. Climate control. Oh wow, the whole new climate control settings. Uh, so let's go under settings. I can precondition the car, of course. Activate the default settings. So pretty standard. Uh, just go through it, play with it. I'm sure it's very easy to learn. Obviously you can get uh, ventilated seats, heated seats, uh, heated steering wheel, all that good stuff. If you have all those, the cars package with all those, it would show up here and how you would control it. In the IX, when we get into it, obviously you have an option of massage seats, that kind of stuff. So that would show up here too. Uh, device manager, I guess this is for your uh, cell phones. Okay, uh, displays. So your head-up display, how to configure that, your instrument cluster, uh, which is this display right here we were looking at. And then uh, your control display is this screen that we're looking at. So let's go into instrument cluster, configure content. So everything is checkmarked. So media, radio, assisted view, maps, route preview, all that goes up. Let's activate uh, display assisted view while driver assistance is active. Since we have that feature planned in, why not? And let's also do turn by turn directions. Uh, converted speed. So if you're traveling between US and Canada, you'll be able to display miles and kilometers like you see right there. And if I deactivate that watch, uh, miles goes away and it stays to kilometers only. Uh, so you could do that. And there you go, miles come back again. Uh, let's see head up display if anything is different too. Uh, pretty standard, the height adjustment. Oh, the new head up display is actually awesome. Uh, height, rotation, uh, brightness. Uh, actually rotation, let me keep it straight. Let's brighten it up a bit more. Oh, it's max. Yeah, pretty standard. Uh, 
instrument cluster. Okay, we're done through this. Let's go to doors and windows. <coughs> anti theft alarm, lock and lock, comfort access. So unlock when approaching the car. Let's activate that and lock when walking away. Uh, vehicle key only available, what? Only available BMW ID and linked key. Okay, makes sense. Uh, tailgate adjustment so the opening height to keep it at max or lower it if you have a low roof line you could do that uh, let's go to next driving settings uh, so yeah the advanced driver assistance so safety and warning front collision warning let's set it to early with steering intervention active blind spots during intervention side collision warning fatigue alert let's set it up to sensitive uh, speed warning uh, you could set that up. I'm going to leave it deactivated. I don't like the car warning me. Uh, parking and manuring. Okay, so all features are activated. Again, if you have more questions about these, please write me in the comments below. I'm trying not trying for this video not to be a long one. Just go through it briefly just to show you how it looks. Just in case you're curious of how the new system looks. Uh, Okay, assisted driving is on. Let's go to the next. Feedback wire steering wheel. I love this to be high, a strong vibration, so we'll leave that on. And finally, they've included the light elements in the 4 Series. Uh, let's do drivetrain and chassis. Energy. Oh, yeah, this is a neat feature, guys. I had a customer here who put a pre-order deposit on one of these cars, the iDrive E40, exactly. His concern was, I've driven the Tesla, I've driven other electric cars, and apparently what happens as soon as you take your foot off the brake pedal, you know how the car starts slowing down, and he is really not a fan of that feature, and he would like to coast more, to drive more like a normal car. Finally, in the new electric cars, the i4 and the iX, we do have this feature where you have access to controlling that. So adaptive is what in regular i3 or so far our electric cars have been driving with, where you release the accelerator and the car starts slowing down where it can come to a complete stop without even touching the brake. Now you can, so that would depend on your navigation, if you're following maps and it would know the if you're on a highway or a side street and how it would control that so that's your adaptive mode high is where it would give you the maximum brake regeneration medium is kind of a midpoint and low is where it would coast more so if you're not a fan of that feature and you would like the car to coast more you would set it up here uh, iconic sound is on sport individual you can configure it of how you want the damping, the steering, the drivetrain, and drivetrain to perform and how all that works. Pretty standard, which you've had in the other cars, and also the Eco Pro, which you can configure right here. Uh, so when you're on the Eco mode, uh, it gives you maximum uh, range. So it takes care of the heating and the climate control, reduces that and gives you maximum range, damping and sport steering and comfort so again you can configure that to change it to be sport or comfort or whatever you prefer all right uh oh sorry there was more here so drivetrain chassis let's do charging so charging more charging as soon as you come home and you plug it in it starts charging immediately or you can control when you would like it to start charging Again, preconditioning you can do when the car is plugged in. You can precondition it for departure. So set a time. I, every morning I leave at 8 a.m. You set that time and it will start uh, preconditioning your car. So your temperature controls come on, whether it's hot or cold outside. Temperature control comes on and will either cool the car or heat the car up for you. Uh, current limit. So you can set up your limits of how many amperes you have, um, depending on how your home is wired up so you don't blow a fuse or you don't trip your breaker so your car continues to charge uh, charging target right now it's set to 100 percent obviously if you want longevity of your battery life if you're doing daily city driving you probably don't want it to charge at 100 percent 80 percent max is good which is going to extend the the your battery life the battery is under warranty for eight years, but still you can make it last longer. 
Uh, 100% is great if you have a long trip coming up. The cars offer amazing range. Uh, so range anxiety is not there anymore. Uh, but yeah, if you set it up to 100%, then you can get maximum juice in the car with maximum range. All right, you see how you can control that so easily. I'll leave it at 100% for now for demonstration. Unlock charging cable. So if it's charging, you can unlock charging cable when charging finishes, unlock charging socket cover, all that standard stuff. So more uh, options have come up to do that and for fan loudness and all that too. <laughs> Unrestricted, restricted. Okay, pretty cool. <clears throat> okay, let's get out of this. Exterior lighting, uh, your standard stuff. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Pathway lighting seems a lot. Let's go to 20 seconds so this is what uh, our cars already have where you come uh, home to your driveway and if you're longer driveway when you lock the car the headlights stay on for 20 seconds and then switch off to illuminate your driveway this is pretty standard stuff i'm gonna go away from this we've already had that in our cars again if you have questions ask me in the comments below fm radio live vehicle this sounds new what is this let's see What is this? Picture search. Uh, values. So I guess uh, to pre-program your trip data and all that good stuff. Uh, okay, so that's what it looks like, your trip settings. Uh, messages, obviously when your phone is paired, you are a Bluetooth, you will receive messages and that's what you can view here. Again, the car, for safety reasons, I believe it's going to stay the same. It's not going to let you read it. The car, in fact, is going to read it aloud to you. And then you can reply while speaking to it. Navigation is your standard navigation setting. Let's get out of that. Owner's manuals is, again, stays to be built into the car. Personal assistance is your Hey BMW, Hello BMW command. Once you create your profile and make the car your own, obviously you'll open up another option where you can give it your own personal wake for So you can call it, hey, Mona Lisa, or hey, whatever, and it will follow that command for you. Sirius XM, Spotify, I'm gonna stay away from that. System settings, let's go under here. Uh, standard stuff, date and time, so take care of daylight savings. Again, guys, I'm here in Canada, in Toronto, Ontario, so most of the features, what I mentioned, uh, stay here. That's why you're seeing kilometers and all that stuff here. Uh, again, if you're in the U.S. or in a different country, obviously it would uh, a few things could be changed there. Uh, personal assistant, okay, pretty standard. Uh, Third-party providers, yes. Time period for trip data units, what we use here in Canada. Uh, sound system settings, your bass, treble, all that good stuff for your sound system. A touchpad refers to the iDrive controller. It remains to be a touchpad. Uh, Pop-ups, anything, any changes you make will keep popping up on the screen. So let's activate everything for now. Getting started is what I've been doing, starting uh, setting up the car so we don't need to go there. Remote software upgrade, if anything is there, yes. You do have remote software upgrades in our car. So if anything comes up, you can remotely upgrade your software. You can turn on do not disturb or hide private information. So if you're rallying your car, uh, uh, the driver of that car will not be able to see your personal information, like your home address and, you know, your contact details, that kind of stuff. Wireless charging tray. Yes, it continues to have a wireless charging tray. That's what that means. So mobile phone reminder sets. If you left your phone inside walking out the car, your car will ding at you that you've left your phone in. Uh, data privacy, I would say leave this on to all services. That's when your phone and your car in sync and communicate well together. So you'll be able to do a lot more features via the My BMW app. Uh, reset vehicle data, yes, you could do it through here. I would not. Uh, update apps and services. Okay, so you can find updates to different apps here. And as time goes along, BMW says that they will make more and more features available via our software updates you'll be able to add more apps and things like that as well. So that's the good thing about the ID8. Telephone is again to your phone. I'm gonna avoid that. Weather is live weather. Uh, for here in Toronto or any city you're traveling to, you can pull that up. Wi-Fi connection, so yes, Wi-Fi continues to be in the car. Uh, if I'm right, it's gonna continue to be a three months, three gigabyte trial. When that expires, you can subscribe to have a Wi-Fi connection in the car. 
uh, your service center, I guess you can enter that. Interior lighting, let's go into this. This is interesting because they've added some new colors. So ambient lighting is on, let's go under colors. Uh, you do have your new era bronze. So that's your new bronze. It's kind of daylight, so can't see it that well. I'm gonna go to showtime yellow. So let's show them the yellow right here. That's awesome. You have energized red. I bet this is gonna look awesome at nighttime. Uh, fanatic pink. Oh, this is gorgeous for all you ladies and and guys who love pink. This is awesome. I love this. This is my absolute favorite color right now. Uh, quite time white. This is nice. A nice, cool, clean white. I'm glad that stays. White lighting turquoise. Oh, this is a newer shade of blue. This is gorgeous. I'm sure it's going to look really nice at night. And we have a night ride green. Oh, this is so cool for a green car. And then we have sunset drive orange. We cannot move away from orange at BMW. We love the orange. So this is it. Okay, so let's see electrifying blue, a nice, another deeper tone blue. So two shades of blue, of course, knowing BMW, we have to stay with our blues. Brightness is set to max, reduce for night driving. Ah, that's boring. I'm going to leave it nice and bright. Uh, BMW messages again, if BMW through the app or anything, you receive any messages, those would show up here. So I'm going to exit that. Okay, so that was for your apps. Let's see what's under the vehicle apps. Okay, so that was the, all your apps. Uh, media, telephone, nav, and that's it. So we have Sirius XM, personal assistant. Let's get out of this. Okay, your calendar, your weather, your telephone, route preview, traffic conditions, so everything. I would use my phone more, so I'm going to move this tile over. Okay, so it's one of my more prominent tiles. Oops, a little too much. Oop, there we go. Okay. Oh, guys, I love this massive screen. Again, so I guess I'm going to end this video here by showing you a little bit more about the outside, showing you the car again, once again, from the outside. But for those of you who haven't subscribed to the channel, please do go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like the video, comment below. Uh, click on the bell icon for more informative content like this and let me get outside of the car and I'll show you a bit more from the outside. And this is the gorgeous San Remo Green 2022 BMW i4 E-Drive 40. Okay, since we are close to the charger, let me show you how you would plug it in. You unlock the car. See that? Pull those tabs in. Yeah, we have a charger. And bam, that's how you start charging your car. Okay, right below that is the DC fast charger. Here's your standard wall charger. So 220 volt. Once again, guys, thank you for tuning into the channel, watching this video till the end. Really appreciate your support. Please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon for more informative content like this. Uh, comment below and do share the video with family and friends. All right guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one.